Today's job, we are tackling the roof. It is in much needed repair. I gotta thank Farmer Paul for his old roofing tin. I'm gonna cut that to length. I'm gonna get it screwed down up there so there's no more water dripping inside the shed. Let's get to it because it ain't gonna cut itself. Cut pretty good. It only took one wheel. Hello, here being silly in the warm weather. We, like I said, we have a small window of warm weather this coming weekend, and I got to get that roof done because I'm tired of standing in the shop and getting dripped on. That is all we're gonna do for tonight. Uh, main thing was I wanted to get that tin cut to length. Now there's some dents in it. I'm gonna bring it inside here. Maybe later on today, I'm just going to pound out the dents so that everything goes together nicely. And uh, time to get cleaned up because it's getting dark. And I'll see you all in the morning. What a great day to install a metal roof. It's windy. What can go wrong? So today's plan is going to be to get this metal on that roof without a trip to the emergency room. That's the goal. Yeah, and you can hear the wind. Couldn't, like I said, couldn't pick a better day. So I went and picked up some screws for the roofing. As you can see, they got a nut on top there. They're two inch long. What makes them for roofing is they got this rubber gasket right here. Now, I'm guessing you do not want to crush that gasket. You just want to put it in nicely so that it is tight, snug, not over tight. Because then you'll end up with a leak down the road and, well... We already got a leak, so we don't want any more. So I'm going to fill my pockets with these screws here. And the reason I'm going to fill my pockets is that so it is, in case I fall, I get to stab myself with some screws. You're going to do it up? You might as well do it upright. I needed 10 sheets so that's what I cut clearly I was mistaken I'm gonna be short by four which is not a big deal I got a whole stack in the driveway that I can choose from but I'm on my last handful of screws of course I underestimate that as usual but we'll get these two down I'm gonna break for lunch and we'll get more screws and we'll get back down I'm not a fan of heights at all so when I measured this I measured 76 inches from the peak to the edge might have been a little long never been accused of that before this means that when I'm done I have to take the cutoff wheel and go along the edge and cut it nice and straight and we'll be good to go I'm 
have to move you all over here. Try and pick up that ladder. Might be enough. Come on now. Oh, well, here's where we're at. I think it's fitting pretty good. I got two more pieces to cut. One for this side, one for the other side. That'll bring me right to about here. And obviously I gotta cut a strip to go up here and down the other side. And put the ridge cap on. Ridge cap, I may just make, sorry about the wind guys. Uh, the ridge cap, I'm probably going to yeah, I'm probably I got a piece long enough to go from one end of this shop to the other all from here all the way to the end I may just cut a 14 inch wide piece The length of the shop and just run it from one end to the other for a ridge cap It'll work or it won't All right, so before I cut the other pieces, it's at this point. I'm deciding it's time to go out for lunch I say out for lunch because it's rare here. We don't go out for lunch a lot uh, But Jen just got home from work so I thought I'd ask her if she wanted to go out for lunch. Is there an ulterior motive? Yeah, but you'll have to stick around to see the ulterior motive. Get your mind out of the gutter. It's not what you think. All right, back from lunch, and lunch was good. Hi, right, just a heads up here. So I bought these screws. They got the black top on them. I paid $33 for these screws. I didn't go back to get more. I can't find those screws with the black top. Apparently I grabbed the last box. Same one, two inch, but they got a gray top on them. $23. Did I pay $10 for black paint? That goes on a roof that nobody's gonna see? I just got took to the cleaners. There's no doubt, I got took to the cleaners. The good thing is, I waited until this afternoon after lunch to finish up there so it would be windier. And I mean the wind has picked up. It's going to be a bit of a challenge, but we only got two pieces left to put up there. I'm going to go cut them real quick. I'm not going to bother you with that because you already saw me cut some. So I'll get them cut and we'll come back and get them installed. Well, I'm going to give you all a bit of an update here. Axel needs some exercise, I guess. All right, give you all an update here. It's been so windy in case you can't hear that. <laughs> carrying that metal roofing up on top is like carrying a kite everywhere I went. The wind just wanted to take it for sure. I thought the neighbors were going to end up with it, but here's where we're at. So we got this all on. It looks pretty good. We got to straighten up the edges down here a little bit, clean them up. We got to put the eave trough on yet because that's going to go to our water barrel is the whole purpose of the metal roof now i just got this piece here cut i'm gonna screw it down but as usual i underestimate the uh, amount of material it's gonna take so i gotta go get more screws this will be my third trip to get another box of screws i don't know why i do that to myself but i do so before i head uptown to get another box i'm gonna screw these are the pieces here for the edge i told you about you get those screwed on because i do have enough to do that i'm going to come back it's just a matter of screwing things down where there are no screws now i'm going to put the ridge cap on which i'm going to make out of the long pieces there you can buy a ridge cap but we're a budget diy here so we're going to cut us a ridge cap and we'll see how that works what do i say it will or it won't I can just imagine the wind is buggering up the audio in this whole thing, but it is what it is. Now, I am down to our last piece. I made the ridge cap out of the tin that I had, and I got one more piece to put on. I was going to put it up in one long sheet, but it's so windy, it would have wrapped me up like a pretzel and took me to the neighbors. And I don't want to go to the neighbors, so I had to cut it. So I put two 76-inch pieces up there because that's what I already had cut. 
and now I got to put a 53 inch piece up there now to finish it off the only other thing I'm gonna have to do once I put that piece on there is I got a little carried away with that edge right there and I'm hanging over by about three and a half inches so I'm gonna have to cut that back other than that we're just about done There we go now my intention was to paint this before I put it up now I chose not to when the weather warms up we're gonna get some paint we'll paint it. I'm not sure what color yet but we'll paint it make it look nice and we'll go from there but right now we're gonna call this done finally uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do next I got the peaks a little off in the front there. You didn't see that. That guy didn't see that, and you ain't gonna see that from the road. And if you do see it from the road, then we'll have words. For now, that roof is done. That's a major, major upgrade that I want to get finished. I did when I was up there earlier. I noticed a big hole in the roof on the back left side, back in over there. I'm not sure how or when that happened, but. We were in desperate need of a metal roof. So thanks to farmer Paul for getting rid of his old tin and telling me I could have it. So we got her done. And uh, in true farmer Paul fashion, by making something out of nothing, I needed a ridge cap. I've stuttered on that one, I know. And I made it out of the tin that I had. So saved myself a little bit of money. But I did, like I said, I made three trips to the hardware store to get these screws. So it, all in all, I got other than probably a half a day's full day's work I got probably 70 bucks tied up in that roof and I shouldn't get dripped on anymore next upgrade I uh, may or may not rip the siding off of there and something else up diesel just ran after it there goes Axel what are you looking for oh one of the cats is sticking his nose underneath there did you find him me, Axel and Diesel. We'll see you on the next one. Later.